The top differentials for cats in acute respiratory distress, I, I would divide them into two categories, upper and lower respiratory disease. For the upper airway type diseases in cats, you're probably looking at, uh, it, it's less common in cats, but you're looking at things like polyps, masses inside the throat, um, you know, other obstructive type disorders inside the, uh, you know, the oral pharyngeal area. Cats do get things like laryngeal paralysis, so they're less commonly than dogs. As far as the lower uh, airway differentials, I would, I would think of things like congestive heart failure, non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema, and pleural effusions as the top three. Obviously, pleural effusion can be due to heart failure as well. Um, and then uh, cats can rarely, more, more uncommonly, get things like pneumothorax, uh, and potentially they can also get things like pneumonia, again, less commonly than dogs as well.